So this is our haul, um, and I want to th say thank you for 35,000 friends, and in order to celebrate, we're going to be doing a giveaway, and I'm going to make it real simple, because I don't like things that are complicated. Um, just write, enter me, and just FYI, you do need to be a friend of the channel, and there is a system that I use to pick a random winner, and it also lets me know if the person... Pretty much it'll weed you out if you're not a friend of the channel. And I mean a friend, it means you need to hit that subscribe button. And let's also smash that like button while we're at it. So just write, enter me. And what you may win is a $50 Visa gift card. Very, very simple. I mail it out and that's it. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the simple things. I don't want to be mailing out like boxes and all kinds of stuff because I just, yeah, and that way you guys can spend it however you want to spend it, wherever you want to spend it, and it's just easier for everyone. So, I'm announcing the giveaway right now, and I will announce, what's today, the 26th? I'll announce the winner. Actually, I'm going to shut down, we'll do Monday to Monday. So next Monday, I'll close out the comment section by 6 p.m. Pacific time, Pacific Standard Time, and then um, I will we'll announce the winner... Let me see, next Tuesday, no, no, next Monday, I guess I'll announce the winner, 4th of July. Yeah, let's do that. And you will get your gift card. It will be mailed out by July 25th. So I have to write all this stuff down. All right, let's get into the haul. Okay, number one, I need a new phone cover, not for my iPhone, because I never use the thing. Honestly, I think I'm just going to sell that thing. I mean, I haven't even used, I have not even used an hour. I've I've done nothing on it, and it's just, if you all know how much an iPhone 14 costs, I paid that, I mean, obviously I paid it up front, but, you know, I have an 800 and something dollar phone just sitting around my house doing nothing, collecting dust, and I'm not really that impressed. Like, I've played around with it, and I'm like, what's the big deal about an iPhone? I don't see it, but maybe I'm wrong. So if you have an iPhone, if you're an Android user, and you had an iPhone, and you switched over, let me know, like, what am I not getting? Because I'm not seeing, a, I mean, honestly, all I see is being a big pain in my butt. Because you have to, like, I had to get a new email, I had to do like, all this stuff just to start getting apps. And I'm just really not, have not enjoyed the experience. So, anyways, alright. Sorry about that little tangent. Okay, so anyways, I bought a new cover for the phone that I use to actually record our videos on. And, um, I just needed a new one because my other one was silver and it was just like, oh my gosh, it has seen so much wear and tear. So anyways, this is a good little deal on Amazon. It's like $9.99. It comes with a lanyard, which I'm going to chuck because I don't need the lanyard. Um, but it comes with the little ring, which I use a lot while I'm filming, to be honest with you. So anyways, $9.99. All right. I'm going to actually put it on the phone right now and we're going to get into Dollar Tree. All right, I needed a deodorant, so I just picked up Lady Speed Stick at Dollar Tree, and then, I don't know, you guys, I buy these, and I swear they disappear. I have no clue. These fell in back of a, you know, like when your drawers get really full? Well, mine are full. And this slid back in the drawer, and uh, I can't find it. So anyways, bought those. I also needed some more toothbrushes. I know this is not super exciting, but it's life. Needed toothbrushes. I like the two for $1.25, um, and they also come with the covers so that's always a plus i also needed some more chip clips so just bought these three for a dollar 25 because great deal i love their beauty blenders and for a dollar 25 you can't beat it so i grabbed one in yellow and one in purple and then three in um the melon color and i love the angled that angled part because i can get like underneath my eyes and all that kind of stuff and the little nooks nooks and crannies so picked that up. Then we really hit the jackpot. Oh, more boring stuff. Just toothpaste, which 
Honestly, I need to start buying Too Faced somewhere else. Like, I feel like we just go through it. Well, I go through it a lot. Anyways, I picked up Sensitive by Colgate. It's a tiny tube, I know, but there wasn't, like, that much of a choice. I also picked up some paprika, ground paprika, because when I made my um, potato salad, I realized I didn't have any, and that was not a good thing. So, grabbed some paprika, and then, this is, like, these are amazing deals, you guys. I am, like, wow. All right, this is Centrium 50 for men, and you get 80 gummies. Centrium 50. So, this is for my husband, and the expiration date is January 2024. I mean... Like, seriously, what a deal. It is multi-gummy, supports heart, brain, eye health, and muscle strength. Yeah. Assorted fruit flavors. So it looks like there's apple, peach, blueberry, raspberry, all that all that goodness. Then, look what I also scored. Women's multi-gummies. And I grabbed, these are 170 170 and same thing supports energy immunity metabolism um healthy appearance assorted natural fruit flavors and let's see how many are we supposed to take supplemental gummies these are 10 calories each two daily all right so i grabbed Two of the big bottles, I mean, 340 gummies for 250 by Centrium. And let's take a look and see at the expiration date for these. Hopefully it's a good expiration date, even if it's not, I'm not even tripping. February 2024, like, are you serious? Wow, right? Then, um, I also picked up the multi-gummies, 100 of them. It's the same thing, and this is February 2024. So I'm, like, set for multi, um, what is this called? Multi gummies. I am set. And usually my husband buys mine at, um, Costco, <coughs> excuse me. And as you all know, they are not inexpensive at Costco. So yeah, to be able to get all of this goodness. I mean, look at, I picked up what, six, six of them. And I found them again on Saturday. So they are still out there. So like, don't, think that, you know, like you missed the boat, they are still out there. And also don't be afraid to ask the managers as well, because, um, you'd be surprised how much managers can help you out with stuff. So, I mean, if you were to go in to CBS and buy all of these, it would be, I don't even know how much these go for, to be honest with you. But the reason why they're ending up at Dollar Tree is because, you know, vitamins that are going to expire even in January and February 2024, it's just not something that CVS is going to carry on their shelves. Um, or maybe they're changing the packaging. I don't know. It's either of those things. That's usually when Dollar Tree gets this type of stuff. All right. Let me see what else. I don't know if we have a whole lot from Dollar Tree this this week, because as you all know, Dollar Tree is kind of transitioning into fall, and they're also going to be coming out big with their back to school. As a matter of fact, um, a lot of the trolleys that I saw in the aisles and so forth were filled with like stuff that said stationary and so forth. So that's going to be all back to school. So it's going to be back to school and fall, and then hopefully they'll start popping up that Halloween, because I am ready for some Halloween, and I'm sure that... Um, Dollar Tree is going to have some goodies for us for Halloween. All right, let's get into the next part of our Dollar Tree bonus haul. And another item that I did pick up from Dollar Tree are these barrettes. I use this a lot because I do wear my hair up a lot, and you get 14 for a dollar 25. All right, I did go to the Bath and Body semi annual sale. Some of you might have seen it, some of you might not have, so I'm including it in the haul. I did not go crazy with Bath and Body Works. Um, I did get this candle and that's fire cracker pop. I love the smell of this. I really do. It smells so good. It is just like, oh, cherry. It's just like everything summery to me. And then I also, all right, I spent, I did not spend a lot of money. I think I spent 
I spent $33.37 because I had spend 40, get 10 off. And I've been kind of going through like a hypoallergenic phase right now. So I don't mean, I like their body sprays. I don't know. I like their body sprays, but I'm trying to stay away from their body washes. And I'm using like hypoallergenic lotion and body wash right now, but we'll see how long that lasts because I change things all the time. But I did get Twisted Peppermint for, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, you know, I did not get, I wanted to get coconut. I should have gotten a coconut one. I just have so much, you guys. It's like not even funny of the body sprays, but I did get Twisted Peppermint and, um, I needed, what I really needed are wallflowers. As a matter of fact, I need to find my flag wallflower somewhere here in this house. And um, these were 50% off. These are always a great deal. So I did pick up three of the Firecracker Pops. And I also picked up two of the Riviera Petals. And that's all I bought. Like, I did not go crazy at all um, with the semi-annual sale, which is, like, really unusual for me because... Well, number one, I just have a lot of Bath & Body, you know? And honestly, I'm sure... Okay, I... I, I'm I'm totally keeping it real with you guys. I don't know what I did with the Bath and Body that I bought in um, Laughlin. I cannot find it at all. I cannot find the bag. I don't know where it's at. And I'm just like, I, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to have to rewatch that whole video because I need to know even know what I'm looking for. Why is there a 99 cent store tag? Oh, it's hanging off that wreath. I need to cut it. Sorry, you guys. Um... So yeah, I was not going to go spend more money when I know I have a big, I mean, you all, if you watched the haul that I did in Laughlin with the big bath and body outlet, <laughs> yeah, I scored majorly. Now where that bag's at or where everything went, who knows? It's, it's, uh, it's so ridiculous here. But anyways, all right. So that's what I picked up at bath and body. There's my flag, my Bath and Body flag. So I put in the blue, and honestly, I picked blue for red, white, and blue for the summer. So hopefully, this is Firecracker Pop. So I'm going to plug it in right now, and hopefully, it'll smell good. All right, next up is Hobby Lobby. And I did pick out these red and white gingham charger plates because, number one, red, white, and blue. Ooh, this one's messed up. But this is actually is from the Spring Shop. Wow, I usually am like super careful, you guys, about buying messed up merchandise. I don't know what's, what happened. Why I, I guess I didn't see it. That is going to bug me. Oh, well. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it back. I do have the receipt. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well, these were 50% off. But my whole idea of thinking was to use these charger plates for, of course, red, white, and blue. And also, this matches gingerbread perfectly. So, yeah, I wanted to use it for the gingerbread. So I thought that would be really nice for Christmas. And then, you know, for right now as well. But maybe, I don't know. Is this one messed up? Yeah, they're, like, messed up. That is not like Hobby Lobby to be selling, like, shoddy stuff. Let me see. Okay, this... No, they're both messed up. Huh. And if I use them for display, I guess you won't see, but... All right. Then, 4th of July is 50% off, so I've got two of these mats. purchased two of these mats for um, basically $3 in change and I know exactly where these are going to go. I need them in a certain spot and I also picked up two more items from Howie Lobby. I did pick up the red truck and it has like and it had another core mat on top of it so it looks a little funky right now but anyways 50% off of $12.99 and then I also picked up Proud to be an American. I'm actually going to save these until I do the house tour. A house tour I'll probably... I'll either do it on 4th of July or I will do it next Sunday. It just depends on how long it takes me because I still have to decorate the trees. All right, this one was half of $22.99, so I do like these. I always get this red truck. They have it every year, too. 
So it doesn't exactly last that long, to be honest with you. So I might keep this inside. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's kind of an inside um, rug to me. I won't put it outside because outside our rugs take a major beating, like no joke. All right, we're going to hop in to Walmart and I picked up the mega pack of 18 bars, fiber one calories, soft baked cinnamon coffee cake. Um, these are really good and... I think you guys all know I'm on Nutrisystem and um, Jenny Craig always gave me bars. So I was used to having like a bar with my coffee and then breakfast. So I just switched over to the fiber one bars and only 70 calories each and they're super yummy. So I have this with my morning coffee. All right. Then I picked up Age Rewind and this is Maybelline Eraser because guess what? The other one that I hauled like a month ago, I can't find it. I don't know. You guys, I swear... Sometimes I think someone's coming in my home and deliberately taking stuff to make me feel like I'm absolutely 100% nuts. But then I'm like, that's a really nutty thought too to have in my head that someone's coming and like hiding stuff from me. I do not know where stuff goes. Anyways, this isn't really even my color. This is 115. It's medium because the my actual color, which is super light, it was all out. But this should be okay, I hope. Anyway, so I picked up another one and then I needed, I was, when I did my makeup on Saturday, I noticed that my um, mascara was like dry and I buy this all the time. I don't know if, I, if like maybe their makeup's just sitting around at Walmart. I don't know. But, um, so I ordered another one of these and I don't know. I may just go to Mac and get mine because honestly Mac has the best mascara. I've just been lazy about going to the Mac counter. I really need to head over there sometime soon. All right, grabbed that from Walmart, and then I also bought this at Walmart, and this is a size medium. It was on clearance for $9. $9 make you holla. All right, it was eleven ninety nine, so I got a little bit of a discount, you know, size medium, juniors. This will look cute. I have some ideas for it, so picked that up, and let's see. All right, went to Aldi as well, and I got this guy. He's a cutie patootie, and I really like him. I should have, I don't know why it took me so long to get him, but I really like, there's a certain part in my um, vignettes that is red, white, and blue, and I needed, I, I, I need him for, to, actually, I need him to take up some space. That's really why I bought him. He needs to be a space taker upper. So he'll look really good in this little vignette that I have going on so picked him up and then at Aldi we also got the core mat home sweet home I'm gonna hold off on putting out all the new mats until I do the home tour because I want everything to look really good for you guys and so forth and also just a reminder because there have been some people that are like why don't you shoot with um, a tripod you all voted that I do the hauls old school and that's with me holding the camera like I am and one hand so that's why the camera is moving because i'm moving and so forth um you guys did not like i mean 20 i think yeah 81 percent of you all wanted me to go back to the old way so you guys were not fans of the tripod which is fine you know i honestly it doesn't make a difference to me it really really doesn't um i just thought we'd try and be fancy and you know shoot like other people but i think it was because i think a lot of the comments were because you guys like seeing the tablescape, which I get. I don't know. The tablescape, I just feel like, I mean, I like it, but I still need to put the finishing touches on the house. And I don't know. Okay. I'll tell you what my big issue is. It's this gap right here. And I know everyone's probably like, you know, you've got, it's really cluttery. To some people, this is like cluttery. To me, this is just how we roll here. But um, I don't like this gap. Like, I feel like maybe I should put a sign behind these stars. I don't know. We'll see. We might have to, I mean, we are going to go to Hobby Lobby this week. Let's be real. Okay. Hobby Lobby is where I go to meditate and relax. Okay. Um, I went to Target. You guys, Target's like deadbeat central right now. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone who loves Target, but I mean, we went there because um, I wanted to see, you know, if they had out any fall and they did. And, you know, I shot the dollar spot, but walking around the store, I was like, this is deadbeat central. You know, I don't know what's going on. And it's funny because I was talking to my sister and I told her like, 
a month ago, I told her, you know, Target's deadbeat central. Well, she didn't believe me. And she's, I think she's hosting like some type of 4th of July get together at her place. Anyways, so she went to Target and she was like, there was nothing. And she was like, I can't believe it. You were right. There is nothing. And I was like, I told you like, <laughs> like, hello, like, you know what I do every day. I go shopping and I told you Target is like, there is no red, white and blue. They have literally a trolley and that of some red, white, and blue that is like, there's nothing. I mean, if you're looking for like these guys at Target, you're not going to find them. I mean, if you're looking for like heavy red, white, and blue, I told her, I said, if you if you want red, white, and blue Americana, hit Hobby Lobby. They're 50% off. My sister doesn't care about money. She's got a lot of money. So like 50% off doesn't mean, you know, she's like, could care less if they're on sale. It's not on sale. But I told her, I said, hit Hobby Lobby, you know, if you're doing some big shindig. And she's like, well, I'm just ordering everything off of Amazon, which I understand because, you know, she has two babies. She has two little ones and she really probably doesn't have time to be hitting Hobby Lobby. And it's just easier for her to get Amazon packages. But Anyways, okay, for our 4th of July, it's going to be a surprise. I am shooting that day. I'll, I'll be vlogging, and you guys are coming with us, and I think you guys are going to like where we go. I hope you guys... Well, you know what? I hope we like where we go, to be honest with you. It's something new. It's something different, and um, yeah, but you guys are invited to come along. All right, let's get into... Oh, okay, why did they get on Target? Because the only thing I found worth hauling from Target were these little rugs. Let me move my top out of the way. All right. These were $5 and if like the, the shower area I have to put a rug in is very, very limited in space. So these are perfect. These are perfect. And for $10, I picked up two, you know, hopefully they, as you can see, I mean, you can see the cloth in between this, is this called chenille? I don't know. A shaggy mat. You can see the cloth in between the shag. But hopefully this will be okay. You know, I didn't even check to see if there was... Okay, it does have that sticky stuff so you don't go sliding out from the shower. But $5 each, this is fine. And as a matter of fact, I need to get my husband to change the shower curtain out. I'll have to remind him today. But $10, that's all I spent because there just is, well, was not a lot there. Although I will say this, if you did miss our shop with me, I did find blueberry and strawberry whipped cream. So that might be like a cute little um, addition to like your 4th of July shindig or any type of dessert you're making. All right, let's get into TJ Maxx. Now TJ Maxx, if you haven't watched TJ Maxx, run and watch TJ Maxx because they are having an epic sale and we hit it last week. And then I just received another email and they're going even... The, pr the pricing is like 70% off right now. So definitely get TJ Maxx. All right. What did I get TJ Maxx? I totally forgot. Um, oh, okay. I got these cute cargo pants. They're black. And you all know how much I like my cargo pants. These were $16.99. These were not, of course, they weren't on sale. Even though they were the last two larges. Um, these are a size large. And these are basically, I'm going to be wearing these like during the summertime, if it ever hits summer, because it's still not hot, you guys. It's really, really weird. All right. It has like the little cuff right there. And I like that little angle. And basically it's just like, um, not as short as floods and not as short as Capri. It's just kind of like, kind of like high waters. Like I'm waiting for the flood to come. Um, but I'll work it. I'll make it look cute. And I picked up the last two larges. And I like that it has like the elastic waist and it has this tie, which does cinch at the waist and so forth. It was kind of, ex I mean, there were $16.99 each, so it's only $35. I thought I got something else at Target. I mean, uh, TJ Maxx, I guess not. I don't know why. But yeah, so what I did get wasn't even on sale. But um, but yeah, these are cute. These are cute. I do like them and... They're the, the material is perfect for summer. Like I have leather seats in my SUV. So like, I don't like to feel all sweaty and sticky and this is like that cooling material. So that's a plus plus. All right. Um, another, another store that we totally 100% scored at was Goodwill. Oh my gosh, you guys, 
I had to hold myself back. And the reason why I'm holding back on the spending is because there's this LV Louis Vuitton that I want that is like, it's going to be um, the most expensive LV I've bought, I have purchased to date. And it is going to take, yeah. So I need to like scale back a little bit. But I had to pick and choose what I wanted at Goodwill. And I think I did a good job of choosing. So let me show you what I did get at Goodwill. All right. I picked up the Nutcracker because I am going to be doing Christmas in July. Like once, well, actually, I mean, I'm going to start putting stuff out now, but I do do the house Christmas in July and you guys will see the little added Christmas stuff that I'm going to be putting out for July and then I'll go back away. But luckily, I mean, one thing is for Christmas, a lot of the like stuff I have stored is here in the house. Like anything that I really like, and treasure did not go into the storage unit. It's in my closet or it's in my cupboards in my small kitchen. So, um, yeah, we'll, we will be doing Christmas in July. So he's going to stick around and look at him. I wish he had a partner, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. What I like is the peppermint. And you all know that during Christmas time, I was, I am all about the peppermint and gingerbread. I am all over it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Can't wait. So he was $7.99 and he came off the trolley. And of course I was, you know, like once those doors open and the trolley comes out, I'm on it. I'm like, what's on here? You know, $7.99. So he's a cutie patootie and Hey, he's red, white. So he will go. Matter of fact, we're going to put him right there. Cause like I said, he's going to be around for Christmas in July. All right. And we can kind of see him back there. I don't know. He kind of blends in. So I may put him in a different area. But for right now, that'll do. Because I already have two items I'm going to be putting back. Wait till you guys see who's going to reappear back there for Christmas in July. It's going to be fun. And it'll give me what I need. I need that Christmas boost in my life. I need a little Christmas in July. Okay. And if you're new and you just clicked on to this video... This is definitely how we roll in the halls. So I wish I could tell you that it's usually more organized, but it's not. This is this is how it is. All right. But welcome. Hope you decide to stick around. All right. Then I was able to get this Ray Dunn mug, which I need to wash. It, says, it just says red, it's red and white. So it says jing, Jingle Bells. Um... 99 cents, you know? So I was like, yeah, let's do it. 99 cents. Um, I already have a lot of Ray Dunn mugs for Christmas, but I figured, you know what? I can throw in like some Christmas candy or some peppermints, red, white, and red, red, if I can speak, red and white peppermints. I might do that. You know what? This will stick, this will stick around for um, Christmas in July. I'll just go to Dollar Tree and get some regular red and white peppermints um, and fill it up to the top and that'll be fine. And that'll be for Christmas in July. All right. What else did I get? Ooh, you guys, this one was a good one. This was a good find. And I was, I hopped on it. This will stick out around for Christmas in July too. All right. This is at home goods. And we see a lot once like, um, the holidays, those er months start coming through home goods, like October, November, we see a lot of this. And this is so, I mean, I have said in a tons of videos, I don't even want to lift this stuff up because they price it so high at home goods. Well, I was able to pick this up for $6.99. And I want to peel this off and see who makes this because is it going to say who makes it? Probably not. Nope. Nopers. Ooh. Well, there is a tag here. Hold on, you guys. Christmas Cozy Lights. And they make a lot of stuff for Halloween. And, I mean, this would easily be, like, nineteen ninety nine. I mean, that's not, like, a lot of money, but I wouldn't pay nineteen ninety nine for that. You know, I'm cheap. But I'll pay six ninety nine or whatever I paid for it at Goodwill. Yeah, six ninety nine. dollars Anyways, so this will be out. Yeah, I'll just leave all this stuff out for, you know, Christmas in July, not an issue at all. So 
that's all I picked up at Goodwill. I was really good. Trust me. When I was watching my own Goodwill video, I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I get all that Halloween stuff? But at the same time, you guys, the stuff I have in store, I have so much Halloween stuff in storage. It's not even funny. So much. Oh, and I also bought three pairs of these Nightmare Before Christmas socks for a dollar each at Walmart. Um... Just to let you guys know, especially like with Halloween coming, if you're making like cute little gifts, these are a dollar at Walmart, okay? And it's cute. You could get like a cute mug from Goodwill or you could get it from, you know, um, wherever you want to get it. And let's pretend like this is, you know, a Halloween mug. You can roll up the socks. You could put in a little bag, get a treat bags from Dollar Tree and put in Halloween candy. Also, we have seen uh, Nightmare Before Christmas mugs at Ross right now for like $4.99. So you could pair it with that. All kinds of little funsy stuff so you could do with that, with these little socks for a dollar. Or you can hold on to them and save them for stocking stuffers for Christmas, you know? Some people do Nightmare Before Christmas all year round. Personally, like, if I got a sweatshirt, I mean, if I purchase a sweatshirt with Nightmare Before Christmas all, I'll wear it anytime. It doesn't have to be just at Christmas or Halloween. He's just a cool dude all around. And it wouldn't be a haul unless we were welcoming a new one to the patch. Welcome. She just arrived. She arrived Saturday. I just unboxed her right now for the haul. She's a cutie. She's going to go out. I'm, I'm going to put her in the vignettes because she's wearing red, white, and blue. And I think she's super cute. All right. She does not have a diaper on. So I'm going to have to buy, you know, I'm just going to have to buy diapers, like infant ones or preemie diapers. I'm going to have to get a box of diapers because a lot of my Couch Couch kids are coming in with no chonies. Um, she's got her little bows. She's clean. She is clean. And actually, she reminds me of my first Couch Patch kid. Yes, my first Couch Patch kid, and her name was Shelly. Um, but she had, Shelly had pigtails, but she looks exactly like my first Couch Patch kid, uh, which I think is why I had to have her. Anyway, she has, she does not have Cabbage Patch Kid kids on, uh, clothes on. I think these are Cabbage Patch Kid shoes. I could be wrong, but someone made the outfit. You can tell, and that's fine. She's cute. She's got little ice cream cones. I love it. It's red. She's red, white, and blue. She's adorable. Um, body's nice and clean. So yeah, she will go. I'll put her in the living room and she'll go somewhere out there. All right, you guys, that is a haul. I know I have not been, I mean, the hauls are, are pretty big for just a weekly haul, but um, we usually haul a lot more than this, and the hauls will be long as soon as we start getting into Halloween, fall. You all know how I roll when the holidays come. The hauls are huge. But right now, we're in between seasons, and I mean, anytime we're in between seasons, I slow my roll because there's not much out there. But... Um, I'm glad that June is ending because fourth, well, July is when all the fun starts, when all the funsies start coming out, when we're going to see code orange in a lot of stores. And trust me, I am on the lookout every single day for code orange. I am calling stores every single day and I am on it. So anyways, my friends, um, don't forget if you want to, to enter our giveaway, our 35k giveaway, and I will see you all in the next video. I am working on completing our vlog. I'm not having all that fun doing monkey bread. I had no idea it was so hard. So, <laughs> it's been quite the experience. And honestly, if I go back and that dough is not the way it's supposed to be, I'm just going to have to scratch the whole thing. And we're just going to have to make something else because I have been messing around with the monkey bread no pun intended, since about 10.45. Yeah. All right, my friends. I will see you all in the next video, and good luck. I hope I hope you all enter, you know? You have nothing to... You have... It'd be fun to win a $50, you know, Visa or Master gift card, whichever one they sell. And like I said, you can spend it anywhere you so choose to, and that's why I choose to give those away as giveaways. All right, y'all, I will see you all in the next video. And thank you so very much for joining me for one of our crazy train hauls. Thank you.